Welcome back everyone. Today is um, Thursday, July 22nd. Well, I take that back. Technically, it's Wednesday the 21st. Well, I'm making this intro, but when you're going to see this video, it will be um, it will be Thursday. And this has been an especially hard week for me. Um, this is really the second year, so it's 104 weeks today, being Thursday of David's passing. And technically, the actual year is the 25th, so it will be this Sunday. So from the magic of things I don't understand about how the earth turns and leap years and all that stuff, how 104 weeks, if there's 52 weeks in a year, it's 104 weeks. I don't understand how it's not two years. But I get it. But it still is a, a little crazy to me. So Monday was uh, 1,631 weeks ago that David was born, and now it's 104 weeks since he's passed and the reason I'm standing by his truck is 104 weeks ago today is the last time I ever saw David um, he was going to a concert and uh, I saw him right here I was standing right here he was getting ready to leave and um, that's the last time that I actually saw him so um, I figured I would do this intro here um, this video is going to be a little bit different um, last week uh, Brittany, Kevin, and Ethan were here. I'm going to put some highlights of our of their trip. I should say our trip, but of their trip uh, at the end of the video. Some of the things that we did, if anybody's interested. But I figured I would. Um, it, we did. It had a lot of rain. We had a lot of rain, so I didn't get to do really too much uh, excavating at all. Um, Kevin was going to do some drone video for me. And it was just, it just rained, rain, 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 rain. And it was so muddy to get back there, I didn't even feel like making a mess. So um, he does have some drone footage, which I'm going to put in uh, either this video or, uh, or maybe I'll put it in this video as well. I don't know. We'll see how long it goes. Otherwise, I'll put it in another one. Um, so you could see what it looks like. But I didn't get a lot done there. But uh, last week or the week before, I did a little, uh, well, you'll see when I do the intro of it. But I did a little freebie job for... Uh, Gwyn, my neighbor Gwyn, um, as in Gwyn Way. Um, so you'll see a little bit something different, little dozer action with the Kubota. Um, so uh, I may do, I'm not sure if I'll be able to, and I don't mean able to, but me mentally able to make a, I was going to try to make a two year uh, video. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. I'm going to try. If, if I can, that'll be, well, Sunday's the actual day, so it probably wouldn't be up on Sunday. Um, I've been trying to do Mondays and Thursday videos now, so it'd probably be Monday, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. It's hard for me to look at the videos uh, to put the clips together of that. But anyway, I appreciate everybody watching and everybody's kind words and uh, hope I'm a little entertaining for you, but this is, <laughs> this is uh, what I'm doing, so I can only show you what I'm doing, so... Um, I bought a new, uh, steel, um, line trimmer today, a 111R, I think it's called. So I'll let you know how that is. I'll, maybe I'll do a video on that between the Echo, the one that I had before, which I wasn't crazy about. Um, well, I guess that's about it. Enough yapping. I will, um, I will, you'll see the, what, what you're going to see in a second. And, uh, again, um. Uh, I appreciate everybody, and uh, sorry for the long-winded intro, but I just thought it was important to uh, to let you know what was going on, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Well, I wanted to give this a try. I had poison ivy and crap growing underneath the trailer, so I said, well, let me see if this will move it, and uh, it moves it. This thing's almost 9,000 pounds, and uh, I don't think if I didn't have the plow on the back, I'd probably be doing a wheelie. But I want to cut all that stuff out, and you can see. Look at that poison ivy growing up inside. That one growing up there. So I'm just going to cut that all down now and uh, pull that out. And I'll have to spray that area, round it up. But uh, yeah, I'm impressed with that. I'm glad I bought this hitch, or whatever you want to call it. It's not really a hitch implement. It's. Uh, nice and sturdy I don't use it for all the trailer moving because I usually I have a, a clamp on that goes onto the forks but for something heavy like this there's no way that uh, the forks are gonna do it be too far out 
So just figured I'd give you that a give you that little update on that that it works. So if anybody else needs to move something, it's a good way to do it. Well, I'm just sitting my camera on the seat of the zero turn. So hopefully I can't really look at the screen to see what it's looking at. Let's see. I think that'll work. We'll see what it does. Okay, for this adventure, my neighbor next door, uh, they're paving our road, thankfully, and the guy that was out there, because we have an easement that I needed a sign for, and they needed a sign for something, and we were out there, and she says, I know you must have a bulldozer back there somewhere. Can you knock this pile down of horse manure? This is, this is Gwyn Way here, for uh, everybody who knows about that. Um, so, I said, I'll take care of it for you. So, I'm going to go put some fuel in the excavator and then we're going to use uh, the Kubota dozer. Kadozer. Kaboser, whatever we want to call her. So, uh, we'll see what it does. But uh, I don't think it'll be too much to, uh, to knock that down level for him. So, I'm going to go put fuel in and then uh, I'll get some video of that. Well, I did the first pass and I forgot to put the camera on, so we'll see how this one goes.
there we go. It's knocked down, widened, and uh, the price was right. And I will keep my motto up. <laughs> no good deed ever goes unpunished. Because I took my hat off because it was hot. And I was going to ask them to cut all these branches before I did this so I don't scratch the tractor. But it obviously pulled the hat off the seat, the buddy seat on the side. And it is gone. And I wouldn't want it right now unless it's on top. Because I'm pretty sure it's rolled under that uh, windrow right there. And... I could probably hit it again. I don't want to get that close to the trees. I'm going to tell them if they want me to do any more, they got to cut those branches down. But uh, not for nothing, but I don't care if I roll it out. I'm not putting that on my head. And that was a brand new hat. That was a rogue American hat too. That was like 35 bucks. Oh well. What are you going to do? <laughs> it always happens to me. She won't even say thank you. Oh, well. All right. Well, that's that. I'm going to go. I got to go pressure wash this thing off. Because if this had smell of vision right here, you would, uh, you wouldn't. Well, if you like horses, it doesn't really bother me. It's not like cows. But still, most people wouldn't like the smell of it. Because this is... This is all horse manure mixed in with hay, obviously, in their feed, so. But at least now the, uh, the woman who brings the manure cart down here won't be tipping over. Because, again, you can't really see height-wise, but it's, from here to there, it's probably about five and a half, six feet of elevation change. So... All right, I'm gonna go uh, go back around and clean it off. Hello, we are heading off to Myrtle Beach, and if you're not familiar, my dad lives in Myrtle Beach, so that's where we're gonna be staying in a very surprising fashion. Ethan is joining us this time. Say hello. If you don't know Ethan, Ethan is my 13 year old son who really doesn't love to travel so he usually stays home when we do tropical destinations. He's really missing out but uh, hopefully we can convince him to go. You want to go somewhere soon? No. No. So we are heading off to Myrtle Beach. I think we're going to start by going to the Pelicans game when we land although so far we're about 45 minutes delayed so I guess we're going to find out. See you there. Welcome to Myrtle Beach. You get any closer? When were you here last? This is like when you're interviewing me and you're like, <laughs> when were you here last? Last summer. Last summer. You think? Okay. How about you, Kevin? When were you here last? Uh, two months ago. Ah. Three Whoa. months. Three months. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yep. I see him speeding up. I see him too. You see him? Yeah. Let's go down here. Go ahead. Hi, Jim. How are you?
Had such a fun time at the Pelicans baseball game last night. I think they won. We left in the eighth inning and I think it was 5-0. So much fun. Right now we are heading off to the North Myrtle Beach Marina where my dad keeps his boat. So we're gonna go use the pool there. Oh look, Ethan is making... Oh, Ethan's uh, shutting the door on us. But we're gonna go over there, use the pool slide, and it is hot. So I think we're going to pool and then boat. Still came flying. All done with the slide? Yeah. What happened? The lifeguard. Lifeguard? Because you were too bad up there? I was good. My dad and Wendy are going down the slide. It's a long line though. I think they have some GoPros. So we'll see, uh, we'll see who we're gonna capture. How's your boat ride? Yeah, we go. We don't have How's your boat ride, Dale? Good. How's the boat ride? He's our captain. Captain Snowman. <laughs> to Hurricanes for dinner, one of our favorite spots to go to on the boat.
So Kevin, I'm gonna get the front one first, okay? okay. What did you end up deciding on? California and uh, shrimp tempura. What was it? California and shrimp tempura. Looks good. You gonna share one with mom? No. <gasps> Absolutely. Yes, you are. Absolutely. Yes, you are. Too windy probably to hear this. We're going to Top Golf. First time for all of us, right? Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Dale. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you never have a drink. Dehydrated. Who's club to go to far if I think I win?
are starting the day off at the pool. It's with a thunderstorm this afternoon, so we only have a few good hours, and we are going to be sure to enjoy it. So that this is all going to be built up to that height. So the mm -hmm. like out to here will be the road, and then this will slow down. So. Like it's, there's a lot of it gone. It's hard to tell sometimes on the video, but like if tomorrow we have a chance, I'd like to move, like get a drone shot of moving that yeah. stuff over, just that pile over to here. And then it's all greased up and fueled and everything. I don't have to do anything other than start it. But it's, it's close, this side is close to being done other than if I had a bulldozer to fix the slopes and Thing. I'll just be happy to have this all built up and if it rains and then I'm gonna start over there on that side because it would be nice to get the to close up the creek and have the level come back up again I dug a ditch there too to try oh, yeah. to get all this water out and I never I can't decide yet I said in a video I was gonna put in a pipe but I can't decide what I want to do, I might dig a big, like, put a pond right here. Mm -hmm. Does he say anything about it, though? Well, I, no, I told him about mm -hmm. it, so he didn't say anything. And then I'll go right in the lake. Yeah, it goes right down. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's a little squishy. 